Now going over to the business blunder of the day, you have Starbucks losing about 12 billion in market value thanks to the controversy around their union and the boycotts over the Palestine, Israel, Hamas conflict. Um, it's not a subject in which is my core competency in terms of Middle East, um, Middle East relations. So I apologize if I'm butchering the specifics or the names. I'm much more on the business end of the formula, so I could give you more of that. That's where most of my knowledge is when it comes to this, the country of Israel, especially the technological um, innovations that they have there. Now, in terms of Starbucks, they have many issues at Starbucks, of course. Now, one of the issues is their unions. Not only are they exponentially increasing cost and doing less work, but the unions actually praised Palestine and Hamas. And, and in terms of uh, social media, in terms of PR, that is, yeah, not so good. And now you have a bunch of people boycotting Starbucks, and it's been hurting their stock pretty bad. Now, this is thanks to the New York Post. They also noted that, quote, Starbucks has been seen nearly $12 billion erased from its market value since the past month as sales have reportedly slowed amid tighter consumer walls and growing labor strife, with some even speculating that the chain had been hit by the boycotts over the Israel-Gaza war. Let's see here. Continue to go down. They know that despite delivering a better than expected sales growth of 8% during its fiscal fourth quarter, the coffee sales share price has decelerated on a week-over-week -week basis following trends in the snack and coffee industry. And geez Louise, their stock is a hurting. And I'm just going to say, granted, the stock fluctuates every second by the nature of the stock market. As of the time of this recording, it's at ninety-six dollars and forty-two cents per share. So it's year to date. Year to date, it's down around three percent. Past month, seven percent. Five days, closer to ten. So it's definitely has some short-term struggles, to say the least. Now they continue to say, let's see here. When the coffee house chain share price continued to decline, putting in its annual Red Cup Day, the promotional event saw baristas handing out free red colored reusable holiday themed cups to consumers as their coffee purchases on November 16th through festivities were overshadowed by a walkout. Hundreds of lazy, oh wait, I mean hundreds of workers, repre represented by the Workers United Union, walked off the job on a notorious busy day, demanding improved staffing and schedules while non-unionized staffers endured one of the most infamously hard and understaffed days as drink orders piled up and employees end up receiving a bunch of abuse from frustrated customers. Which, I was going to say, one of the biggest issues in the United States is the unprecedented levels of entitlement. Starbucks already pays well above the competitors and gives way better health benefits than most of the competitors as well. And now the unions want to put the screws to them, so to say. Now, That'll just make the situation worse and worse, of course. And the fact that the union is praising terrorism is not great either, obviously. It also makes Star Wars look bad because the union is using their logo as well as their intellectual property. Now, it looks like the protests were just in the latest Starbucks deep-rooted disagreements with the union. Last month, the two entities filed wearing lawsuits over the union's social media posts declaring solidarity with Palestine, unquote, in the wake of the Hamas deadly attacks. After Workers United published the controversial statement in a since-deleted post on X last month, where it boasted nearly 100,000 followers, Starbucks swiftly moved to distance itself from the organization. Starbucks said, quote, We unequivocally condemn acts of terrorism, hate, and violence, and disagree with the statements and views expressed by Workers United and its members. Workers United's words and actions belong to them and them alone, unquote. Which, of course, they could say that, but they have a similar logo. They work for you, so you're foolishly continuing to work with them and it's alienating a lot of prospective and well as I say old clients now let's see here the response has inter has interpreted as a display of support for Israel over Palestine prompting for calls for boycott despite Starbucks efforts to quell boycott calls the hashtag boycott Starbucks is still trending on social media according to TikTok's creative center the database that Details, user insights. The hashtag has been used in some 16,000 times the past 30 days, generating combined 167 million views, which is quite a bit. 
and scrolling through your article. And again, the Israel-Palestine conflict is a tale as old as time. And most of these companies are trying not to make any statements. And Starbucks has gotten to the situation where they're in between a rock and a hard place. I don't see them making this. I don't see them turning this around anytime soon. Let's see here. And again, any additional background you have on this situation, I appreciate it. This is very much one of the most newest topics I've covered in the past near year since I started the show. And interestingly enough, they do have a follow comment section, so we'll go down there. Someone by the name of Dere, Dere de Day Gray says, quote, If it is true that Starbucks lost money due to standing up to fringe union employees who hijacked the Starbucks name to make political statements, then I applaud Starbucks for standing up for civil rights of all of their customers. I feel sorry for their, I hope, temporary loss and hope they recover soon. Some things in life are worth more than money, unquote. They got six likes. Someone by the name of Stove Boat says, quote, They should have been more concerned about the Grande Peppermint Mocha I got today being $7.70. Like I'm going to make that mistake again, unquote. Got seven likes. And yet there's another reason if I do enjoy coffee, I usually make myself at home for about, what, 18 cents at most? I mean, the big to me, the big value add of Starbucks is the mobile office. They have robust Wi-Fi. If you don't care about security, you can use that. Granted, I use that at my own hotspot. But nevertheless, they have a nice desk. It's usually quiet. And I usually buy the, just the cheapest, what is it, their cheap drip coffee. And it's pretty good. But again, not a necessity. Someone by the name of Modern Girl 61 says, quote, Go woke, I hope you go broke. I. They also failed to mention that they ditched their credit card that allowed users to earn free drinks, unquote. I got 17 likes. Someone by the name of Rad says, quote, Overpriced, overrated, unquote. Got 18 likes and is perhaps the most popular comment thus far. Jen F says, quote, The number who would boycott in favor of Hamas wouldn't make a dent in Starbucks profits, unquote. They got four likes. Stella Bright says, quote, I rarely go to overpriced Starbucks, but knowing their union supports Hamas is enough to keep me out of there forever and for good. The union claiming management is punishing them for simply being a union members is misdirection and false narrative. By the way, Pete's has much better coffee, unquote. Got eight likes. And in most other comments getting zero to three likes, mostly of the same effect, the same sentiment. But again, having, first of all, having the union exponentially increase the cost of labor and on average decrease the quality since, you know, there's not much incentive because you're out just based on the nature of the, how it's set up. Having them hijack your brand and just drag it through the mud to cause a huge boycott losing, again, about $12 billion in market valuation, that's got to be bar none, the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. Don't forget to take time to subscribe, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of December. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to give me some feedback. Let me know how I can make the show better and better, improve the quality. Also, lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.